Hello and welcome to All Top Fives. The exploration vessel Nautilus is a research boat run by a team of scientists under the Ocean Exploration Trust. Each year they venture into the deep ocean to explore wrecks, study geology, and capture stunning images of life in the depths. Here are five highlights of beautiful and bizarre creatures found on expeditions in the last few years, streamed live at the time on the internet for all to enjoy. Number 5. Vampire Squid During an overnight dive in June 2014, the EV Nautilus team was investigating the effects of oil and gas spills in the Gulf of Mexico on the ecosystem there. While trawling the floor of the sea, the remotely operated vehicle came across a little beauty floating along beside them hundreds of metres below the surface. They recognised it immediately as a vampire squid, a few inches long and deep red in colour. Zooming in on the creature revealed a stunning close-up view of its colouring, its webbed tentacles lined with sharp teeth-like hooks, and its stunning blue eyes. The team got some great footage and screenshots before the squid propelled itself off into the dark once again. It's called a vampire squid not because it drinks blood, but because of its blood-like colouring. The vampire squid also has an impressive claim to fame in the animal kingdom. Its eyes, proportional to its body, are the biggest in the entire animal kingdom. A lucky encounter to come across such an interesting creature down there on the ocean floor. Number 4. Chimera Between September and October 2014, the EV Nautilus was dispatched to the underwater volcano north of Grenada in the Caribbean Sea, known as Kikum Jenny. They were investigating the oddly named volcano's eruptive activity when a creepy fish swam into view. They followed the large creature for a while and discovered it was a ghost shark, or chimera. The fish was affected by parasites which you can see on its side, and it circled round slowly, giving the team's high-definition camera a good look at its front. The two eyes it has are completely blind and have no real function, but the odd-looking smile visible along the chimera's mouth line is made up of several electroreceptor pores. These act as the chimera's eyes in a way, allowing the animal to detect electrical stimuli through the salt water in front of it so it can navigate and detect prey. It's ancient looking though, and it doesn't appear to have evolved much from prehistoric fish. The ghostly chimera then drifted slowly away into the gloom to continue its mysterious life on the ocean floor, but still another great find for the EV Nautilus team. Number 3. Purple Orb In July 2016, the EV Nautilus explored the Channel Islands National Maritime Security off the coast of California, gathering data on the abundant marine life and special habitats and geology there. Along the rocky, ridged seabed were countless clams, crabs, and many other things. The team spotted a dark purple blob in a crevice, though, and zoomed in to investigate. Immediately, all members of the expedition admitted they were completely stumped as to what it could be. They measured the orb to be roughly 2-3 to three inches in diameter, using the laser guide you can see there in green. And, after a confrontation with a large crab, managed to obtain the specimen using their sucker. As of this video, the Nautilus's science partners at Harvard hadn't settled on an identification for the organism. Their current theory is that it's a type of sea slug known as a pleurobranch, but no known sea slugs from the California region are this colour or exact shape. Many commenters following on the live stream suggested humorously that it could be anything from a Pokemon to the start of a blobby alien invasion. Not likely. Still, the team may have found a species of sea slug that is completely new to science, but we won't know for some years yet, most likely. Number 2. Siphonophore So now we head back to June 2014 into the Gulf of Mexico, where the EV Nautilus remotely operated vehicle came across that vampire squid. On that same expedition, along the bed of the deep sea, the camera operators spotted something that looked like an old plastic bag floating on the bottom. The team got closer and followed it, and eventually identified it positively as a siphonophore, an organism made up of several small animals called zooids, arranged into this colony that seems like a single animal. It's a long, thin, very weird-looking organism whose individual creatures, the zooids, control the movement of the entire colony. 
You can see it come to a halt actually by blowing out water in front of it at one point. The best known siphonophore is the Portuguese man of war, which is a little larger than this particular organism. It's not a jellyfish, even though it might look like one. As it swims along, you can see the individual animals that make up the siphonophore, as well as other differently adapted animals that make up the tail end, as it were. What an incredible organism to find along the sea floor, especially when it was first thought to be a torn tire or bag littering the ocean. Beauty in the strangest of places. Number 1. Stubby Squid Towards the end of the expeditions in July and August 2016 off the coast of Los Angeles, exploring the Southern California margin, the EV Nautilus team came across possibly one of the most unusual and amusing creatures they found to date, down at the depths of 900 meters. The sea floor of the Southern California margin is still relatively unexplored, and although it wasn't new to science, the little animal that they found looked like a cross between an octopus and a squid. It's known as the Rossier Pacifica, more commonly the stubby squid, and you can definitely see why. Its tiny tentacles, stubby appearance, and huge, bulging, googly eyes lend it such a cute and hilarious appearance. At only two inches long, the team could hardly contain their good humour at the find. <laughs> yeah. It was so fake. <laughs> so some, some other Aerobie team just came before and just left it here. It's like some little kid dropped their toy. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. Oh, we oh, man. He's okay. awesome, though. He is awesome. The stubby squid is actually more closely related to the cuttlefish than the squid or the octopus, and this specimen was one of the deepest records of the species. As the camera's focus becomes a little sharper, you can clearly see the veiny membrane covering the stubby squid's body, and the eyes that contrast with its purple colouring. Although it never moved or swam off as the team would have liked for their footage, it was a brilliant end to a productive dive and a great look at one of the weirder creatures from the deep sea. I'd like to give my thanks to the team at Ocean Exploration Trust for their kind permission for me to feature their excellent footage. You can actually follow their expeditions live with all the data, the screenshots, the videos, and the commentary from the scientists themselves. Just check their website or social media for dive alerts. They tell me that there will be a new dive in the spring, so keep your eyes peeled. They're such an enthusiastic team with a great sense of humour. Definitely well worth a watch. And that's it from all top fives for this week. Please remember to try and be nice in the comments, but let's hear what you have to say. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and you can hit the subscribe button for weekly videos. So, peace and love to each and every one of you, and I'll see you all next time on All Top Fives.